Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again. And over the Christmas holiday, I've uh, managed to get myself my own Z Ring bracelet. And of course, uh, before the month came, before the month came in, I had traded many games. Got my copies of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And of course, y'all know from everybody on the internet what this thing does with Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I'm going to demonstrate for you in a little bit. My favorite with the with my female Primarina Ariel. Anyway, so yeah, you know what it does. So. The Oceanic Upright are my favorite. I love it because it's so musical. Musical energy rocking. Raindrops make a blood. And then I knock myself over. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, aside from that, uh, something else fun I actually was able to do also. Uh, I've downloaded the Pokemon Sun and Moon Super Music Collection from iTunes. Mm. Oh well, you can Google it, you know, look up on iTunes, Pokemon Sun and Moon Super Music Collection. Anyway, so yeah, with the final six tracks in this collection, which are the Pudger Monks the bonus tracks, they actually sync up with the Z-Ring. Ah, I did that wrong. But you gotta have it on roleplay mode, that's the opposite side from the 3DS mode. So anyway, you know. A obligatory logo and Well, mine's off in here. Mine's off mine's wrong in here. And then I gotta get out of that pressing the button. Anyway, something else anyway, so this is one minute video, I tell you a little bit about something that I was able to do. Uh, the uh, six bonus tracks that sync up with the Z-Ring. In the iTunes program, I've uh, learned how to separate, uh, isolate numbers through the option under Get Info. I've made ringtones. That literally sync, that literally sync up with the Z-Ring. And among which, I found that the first three seconds of the Pokemon Center song, it's good enough. It acts like a pager, it just makes it buzz. I don't know if you're able to hear that, but it went buzz, buzz, buzz. Which, of course, you know, that's uh, the first three seconds of the full Pokemon Center. Which, I got the first sec three seconds of that as a ringtone by itself. Mmm, that's, that's not happening again. It kind of hit or miss, at least for... I kind of hit or miss sometimes, but we work around it. It does make for a good companion for when you do ringtones. And I man you can even manage to uh, isolate the one seconds out of some of them that I should make the thing light up and sync to that one second of the track. Like, I'll be here that way, I'll just listen up. You know that? It went Pikachu after that one second bit out of the uh, Wild Pokemon battle. So anyway, that is something neat that you can do to, to set up. You can set up your ringtones out of the bonus tracks in the Super Music Collection, download or buy the CDs that they're available on physical disc, which uh, hopefully that would, that is because that will be a lot easier to uh, work around. Anyway, just isolate uh, the uh, seconds and turn them into M4R, M4R ringtones and copy them to your phone. Simple as that, at the very least or varying upon 
Anyway, it's uh, depending on your software and whatnot. So that is something else secretive and fun, a secret feature you can do with the Z-Rig. Anyway, I just want to share that with y'all for this time. And uh, tune in next time soon because I'll finally be able to review the full-size figure myself. I'm, waiting, I'm still waiting for that. I think it takes a long time to make that figure. Hmm. Longest time for versus the card and the t-shirt. Oh well. Anyway, thank you and have a good day.